Chica Girl fans, welcome to my latest video. Today, what's on the menu is a little side dish slash snack called esquites. Esquites is a Mexican style street corn. You may have also heard of it called elote because it actually is corn on the cob. And it's typically Mexican style made with Mexican crema or mayonnaise, a little bit of cheese, some lime and chile powder, obviously some salt for taste. And so we're doing that today. Esquite, this is typically what is served street style in a cup. So that's what we're gonna do here today. And again, you can serve it as a side dish or a snack, whatever you'd like. So what I did is in my cast iron skillet, I added about a tablespoon of butter and I added four cups of corn. The corn, guys, you can use corn on the cob that you grilled on your grill outside or frozen corn. And I did the frozen corn. Now, if you're using the whole cob, you obviously just want to cut those kernels right off that cob and we're going to roast them in here. Obviously, um, I kind of did the lazy thing. <laughs> I use frozen corn. So I have been here for maybe five to six minutes just roasting my corn, turning it and stirring it on all sides, making sure that it's caramelized really nicely. Come in and take a nice close look to see how beautiful this looks. Look at that. We're getting popcorn here. Some of these little things are jumping up. Beautiful. But this is the color that we're going for, guys. And what I'm going to do is add about a quarter of a small onion chopped and one garlic clove chopped. And I'm going to mix all of that together in here. I, in my Mexican style street corn, really like that little bit of a bite with that onion. And that onion is gonna give that to us. And then the corn, or I'm sorry, the garlic just lends a really nice flavor to the overall finished product. And I have my temperature on medium high. And we're not gonna cook the onion all the way through because again, I'm looking for that crisp, a little bit of a bite with that onion. If you don't like onion or you don't like it crisp, cook it longer, omit it, do whatever you'd like. Definitely something to play around with and make this dish really your own. Oh, it smells amazing already. Gosh. All right, looking good. So now that I have that nice and mixed together, beautiful caramelization of those corn kernels, I'm gonna turn off my heat and we're gonna put together this, keep this. So I'm gonna put everything in my bowl here. Oh, it smells so good. Look at how gorgeous, beautiful yellow color. That onion smells divine in here. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Or you can add scallions if you'd like, or if you prefer that kind of onion as opposed to the white onion. Gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. Let me just get everybody, no man left behind here, guys. Yes, get in here. Perfect. All right, I'll come back for you guys later. All right, look at that. We have everything in our bowl. Now what we're gonna wanna do is mix everything really nice in here. I have about four tablespoons of mayonnaise. If you don't like that much mayonnaise, add less. It's entirely up to you. You make this your own. So four tablespoons of that mayo. Here I have about three ounces of cotija cheese. You can use feta if you'd like. Even Parmesan works well. So whatever you have on hand. So just add that in. We're gonna mix this all up. We have cilantro. I'm using about a quarter cup to a half a cup, somewhere in between there. Add that, no man left behind. Everybody get in there. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of salt to all of this, yes. You can use no salt, you can use less salt. Again, entirely up to you. Probably my favorite ingredient of all in this Esquites recipe is Chimayo Heritage Chile Powder. Delicious and soon to be sold on the Chica Grill website. This stuff is amazing. We're gonna be selling it mild, medium, hot, extra hot, depends on what you like. I'm going with the medium flavor here, a medium spice. And I have about a half a tablespoon in here. So I'm gonna put that in. You can obviously use less or more, depending on how spicy or not you like it. Lastly, guys, I have my lime. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that in here. One full lime. 
beautiful. It's looking so amazing. Ah, squeeze away. Yes. Gorgeous, look at that. This is what we're going for. Where are you, right there? <laughs> and all we're gonna do, guys, is mix this up. Oh my gosh, looks beautiful, looks fabulous. That chile is giving such a beautiful color to this dish. Looks absolutely incredible. The cilantro, look at that. Green color, just beautiful throughout. And what you wanna do is give it a little taste. Adjust the seasonings, right? If you want more chile, add more chile. If you want salt, add salt. <laughs> I got a fire to tend to, but I'm gonna try this. Mmm, delicious. Look at that. 